Hi. Okay. So today, when we're listening to ourselves and our intuition, notice what you're thinking about. Try to notice what you're thinking about and how often you're thinking, I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. I wish I didn't feel this. Why do I feel sick? Why am I in pain? Why am I suffering? Why did this happen? Why did my symptoms flare? Um, so you're thinking, why did it happen? What is causing it? What is the flare? How do you fix it? Um, you don't want it. You want it to be different. So these are thoughts probably going through your head, going through your head if you're trying to heal yourself. But I want you to stop today. If you can just take five, 10, 15 minutes to yourself or on a walking meditation, whatever it is that feels good for you. And I want you to ask yourself like what it is that you want. What would you be doing if you weren't sick, if you were super healthy? And how often do you visualize that? So you may try to visualize you know, your body healing or your cells healing or the pain going away or, you know, all these things. But how often are you visualizing a life, a normal, healthy life and just doing all the things that you need to do and want to do and just feeling good? So, you know, you may say, oh, well, I want to get, you know, what's my why? I'm, I want to get better so I can play with my kids. I want to get better so I can travel. I want to get better so I can you know, date my husband again or go on date nights and have family functions and do this and do that and whatever, go back to work, whatever these things are. So in your visualization, how often are you visualizing those things? Meaning, do you, when you listen to yourself, is your subconscious on autopilot? Is it continuing to create and manifest something because you're continually thinking, why is this? Why is that? I don't want this. I don't want that. Do you ever sit down and actually visualize yourself step by step playing with your kids, having an amazing day playing with your kids, going on a date with your husband, you know, dressing up, doing your hair, going out, going to the restaurant, coming home, going to the movie, going to the walk, whatever it is. Um, going on a vacation, visualizing it from start to finish. Uh, going to work, hosting a party, um, visualizing having a big family get together, visualizing these things that maybe you used to do so easily, but you never think about anymore because you're worried about how to heal, how to get better, how to get better back to the spot so that you can actually do those things. But you, your mind, you, your mind never actually pictures it. It never visualizes and pictures yourself playing with your kids, sitting on the couch, reading a book, um, getting involved with a project or art or, you know, whatever is your passion, you know, um, making something with your hands, um, going on vacations, dating, you know, having parties, socializing, getting together with your friends. You know, the more you visualize these things in your mind, the more your brain sees you as having done it. And if you've been sick for a long time, your brain's forgotten. You're like, but I used to be able to, but it's forgotten. It needs to see it in your mind again. Not reliving old memories, not thinking back, but actually putting yourself now and just visualizing you doing these things that you actually say that you want to do and going through it from start to finish, visualizing it over and over and over. Because sometimes our mind and sometimes our inner self is sad, right? It's saying, I'm sad, I don't have this anymore. I'm sad, I'm frustrated, I'm angry. I wanna heal and I can't figure it out. I'm alone, I'm useless, I'm angry, I'm guilty, I'm, I feel, you know, I, I, I feel all these negative feelings. And if we only listen to that voice and we play it on autopilot, that is what we're creating, even if we don't want to. So we need to start listening or reminding our mind to listen 
to what we do want. And we need to start using visualization to see the right things, see those little daily things, getting up, having a wonderful day, going for a walk, going out. Just imagine all these wonderful days that you wanna have and imagine doing them from start to finish and it's wonderful and it's great and seeing all these little things that you wanna do. Going to the grocery store, having a great time, going for a drive, maybe you're taking an amazing drive with the top down and it's sunny and you're singing a song on the radio, whatever it is. You want to remind yourself by forcing visualization in a meditation hour of all these things, these normal things that you wanna do with your life when you're better. And once you start to do that a little bit, your mind will go, oh, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. Do this, do that. This is what we want. Instead of this is what we don't want, your mind will start to go towards. But at first you have to help it. You have to help it. Right now we're so busy trying to listen and hearing the bad things, but we've forgotten how to hear the good things. So we may have to force a little bit through meditation and visualization, but then suddenly we will hear something. I want this. Follow it. I want that. Follow it. I want to play with my kids. Follow it. Visualize. Meditate. Do it. I want this. Follow it. Do it. Right? Those little tiny whispers you now have something to visualize on and work on and think about and dream about and sleep on and do all these, I'm just eating a carrot, all these wonderful, you know, things. But if we don't put our mind there, the imagination can't grow. If we don't force our attention, sometimes we can't often hear those little whispers. So we have to start training our mind to hear the whispers by forcing our attention on visualizing good things, normal things, healthy things. And then over time, you will hear the whispers of the things that inspire you, motivate you, your dreams, your goals, your aspirations, the good things. And whenever you have an inkling, whenever your mind says something that you want, follow it. Says something that's good, follow it. If you think, oh, I'm having a good day, my symptoms, follow it. I'm having a great day. I'm healed. I'm better. This is what I'm going to do with my life now. Follow all the whispers, tiny, tiny, tiny whispers of anything that's good. And follow those trails and help your body, help your mind by visualizing, by meditating, by creating, by brainstorming, by dreaming. Um, yeah. So I know it can be hard when you're when you're focused on healing and what can you do and pain and suffering and things you don't want, but you really have to try to flip that um, consciously so that subconsciously those little bubbles of magic and goodness and things that you want and inspirations and love and joy and all those things that we really, really want can find their way out, right? Find their way free. So try this today.